Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Well, in my last video, I shared with you um, this nifty little tool I got for Christmas, the Tamiya Model Cleaning Brush, uh, anti-static brush. And thank you to everyone who left comments uh, that already have one of these and have been using them. Uh, all of them are positive comments. Uh, some great ideas, actually, from some of you, too. So um, I really appreciate that. But I thought I would uh, bring you guys along, and we're going to give it a test. I'm going to give it a little bit of a workout, so hang around. Okay, guys, as I said, this is a new tool for me, and I do, again, appreciate all of the comments that you guys... Uh, left about how you're using them and your impressions of it and like i said they were all positive so i appreciate that if you're interested in getting one of these online uh your part number is uh 74078 and uh let's get this thing out of here and look it over as i was saying in the uh bottom here you've got a a finer brush boy that's really soft too um and we're gonna we're going to work them all out. And this thing, you almost can't feel that touch in your hand. Wow. And let me see if I can find something to dust real quick. Hey, here's something that's not in a case because it's too big to go in a case. Do you guys remember? Oh, yeah, there's plenty of dust here. <laughs> Let me get the camera down so we can get close enough so you can see a little better. Uh, I guess you can see the dust there. So first thing let's do is let's see about dusting this thing off. Wow. As far as dusting, and I know, um, I think it was Bob Downey said he keeps one by the paint booth and he also keeps one with him when he goes to shows to dust the cars off too so anything that's anti-static let me check that out that dust back there wow very nice let's see if we can get it's kind of hard to see the dust there but well actually but how about that Took that right off. Okay. Hold on. Let me look around the shop here a minute, and we'll find something else to dust, and then we'll start working on a little uh, experiment. Stick around. Okay, guys. Let's look at the base of this trophy here. You see the dust all over that thing. And... Cool. And I guess right around that edge, we could take our pointy little end there. Let's see if I can get this off real quick. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. Had the uh, other end of the handle in my mouth. That's pretty good as far as dusting goes. Well, let's get into some anti-static stuff. Let's move over to its anti-static capabilities. Um, of course, if you can get the static off of anything, it'll repel uh, dust for a little bit. And then, of course, if there's no static on there, it's going to be easier to do painting. And that was one of the biggest things I liked about the, the thought of it is to be able to paint dust free. And of course, that's almost impossible, uh, even with my paint booth. Uh, and I keep it uh, washed down, cleaned up, and there's always still some kind of dust that seems to find its way. And I think static electricity has a lot to do with that. So what I did was I took from around the workbench, as well as the paint booth, the sides, top, and even a little bit off the filter of the 
paint booth any debris uh, there's even some dust I collected off of the top of the display cases that are in the anything that's really around the paint booth or the workbench I started collecting dust on so I'm gonna put that down here as you can see there's everything from plastic shavings and can't have a a model car or a model workbench without plastic shavings. Well, we're going to add a few more things to this, too. So let's grab a toothpick and an X-Acto. And uh, hopefully, guys, this stuff is only a few more days. I'm praying, anyway. Um, and let's get some toothpick shavings. I'm just adding a few things that maybe we don't have. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. And let's get uh, a piece of styrene and get a little extra. Let's get some uh, sanding dust too. So let me grab a, oh yeah, let's grab a real coarse. Sanding stick. And again, this is just stuff that's gonna be in the, wow, that's some really fine stuff there. Stuff that's gonna be, uh, in and around the workbench and the paint area so uh, we're gonna find out and I've got a dash that's freshly primered uh, where did I put it uh, stick around just a second okay so here is our dash and let's hover that puppy over and see what happens oh yeah See if we can pick up any more there. A little bit, as you can see. Just hovering over that. And this is a fairly freshly uh, primed part. And let's see what we get here. eager to see here. All right, now let's do the same thing. Now we, I just touched a couple of spots there, so let's see. Check that out. Not a thing. I am liking this. And let me grab a piece of the, you know the the plastic we just used to shave the um, plastic shavings off. Let's see. There it is. All right. Let's see if it created any static just, whoops, hovering across. Oh, wow. I don't know if that's focusing or not, guys. But, yeah, you can see right there. All right, let's try that with, uh, and this is just bare plastic without the primer. And this is what we whittled that off of a while ago. And I don't know how long you're supposed to use this thing. That's why I keep going. I haven't read any major instructions or anything. Let me flatten that down again so we can do a hover here. We'll even touch a little bit of it again and see if anything sticks. Okay. Not a thing. All right, guys. I think this is going to get a pass to... And, and like Bob uh, Downey said, I believe I'm going to probably invest in another one or just take this one to shows with me to dust before we put it out on uh, for display. Um, I'm rather impressed with that. Let's do that again.
In fact, I'll get it even closer yet, unless I just touch it down into it. Look at that. And yeah, just a little little piece right there in the middle, and I press that on. Um, well, I've even got it on me. Wow, well, touched it again. But not a thing. All right, guys, I like this. Uh, so I'm giving this one... Uh, at the moment, two thumbs up. I still have my thumbs, so there we go. Okay, guys, thanks for tagging along on this one. Um, I kind of enjoyed this, and I look forward to using this in the future. You'll probably see it being used in the future before I paint. So thanks so much for tagging along, guys. If you're not a subscriber, once again, head over, give us a, a sub and a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whichever. It, it's fine with me. Um... Head over to the Teespring, grab you uh, some merch there. Uh, I've got some hoodies and things like that. And I really need to get back in there. I've got some ideas for about three more things I really want to add to it. Um, but if you want to help out the channel, do that sub. And, and yeah, visit the Teespring store too. Guys, again, thanks a bunch. We will see you. Hopefully next time you see me, maybe this won't be there. But um, see you in the next video. God bless, guys. Later.